This one is the Xtool D7W. W is for wireless. Now this connection uh, doesn't require Wi-Fi. It doesn't require Bluetooth. It's actually a wireless connection, so it can go really far. It's like a like a portable, like your home phone that's wireless, something like that, where it can go a pretty good di distance. So you can plug this in the vehicle and then go back to your bench or wherever in the shop or whatever in the air conditioning or heat and then take this and do some diagnostics separate from the vehicle. You don't have to sit in the vehicle the whole time. Now the main components are the actual unit itself, this piece that connects to the vehicle, and then you have this um, USB-C to a USB-A adapter, and then the charge brick here, which is uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. So the main unit here is feels very solid. Um, you know, there's no no rattling or anything like that, no creaking. Uh, this right here has a little kickstand, which feels pretty solid. No. Once again, no rattling or anything like that. One of the great things about this unit is it's wireless and it doesn't require any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or anything like that to connect to the vehicle. It has this direct connection. So basically what I've done is I've plugged into the vehicle outside in the driveway and back in here in the studio, I'm able to show you the features of the vehicle without even being sitting in the vehicle. Now, of course, if you're doing different diagnostics, you don't need to be right next to the vehicle uh, in order to, you know, initiate the bi-directional commands. Uh, so we can do an auto scan. We can also do more customized, um, you know, diagnostics here. So in my case, I have the Honda. Up here, it says Europe, Asia, America. You select the, you kind of narrow it down that way. And then that way you can go to Honda, in my case. And we choose the 16 pin, Japan. So now we can get the vehicle information. Uh, we can also reset some of the maintenance systems. So going right here, we can do manual reset. And then we can choose a cord. It can narrow it down there if we want to do some manual resets. Don't want to do that. Uh, we can do an automatic scan, We can, which will scan for any codes, basically. So if we just go right here, it's going to let us know if there's any kind of codes here. So in my case, it's not going to show any codes. It's just going to go through, check everything, and you can also run diagnostics on each category as well, if there is a code. All right, let's, let's get out of that. Do all system scan. Uh, we can also do system selection here. And we can go through any of these categories. Let's go to engine. We'll go to live data. So we can get live information here. We can also hit record and it'll go in and save onto the, the unit in a report, basically. We can get graphs or we can just get basic information, whichever. Let's go back out of that. Now we have the actuation test. So this is the um, to where you can initiate a, a test. So it's, this is a bi-directional unit. So you can not only receive codes, but you can also send commands. Uh, so depending on the type type of command that you do, uh, you can you you might have to have the vehicle running or not. Okay. So we can actuate the fuel pump on off. We can stop all the in injectors. We can have one injector stop. Radiator fan on or off. Uh, so yeah, some of these, like the radiator fan, you'll have to have the engine off. Um, but of course, the injector, you know, you would need uh, to follow the, the instructions. It'll tell you, it'll kind of step, step you through uh, each one. So you can actually send commands to the vehicle uh, to carry out in order to initiate a... a, a di if you're diagnosing something, you know. So if you're, if you, for some reason, say the radiator fan is not turning on, 
Um, is it the fan itself, the fan motor, or something else? You know, maybe some kind of relay, some kind of temperature sensor, whatever the case may be. Well, we can turn on the fan through this system, so that way we can kind of narrow down uh, what works and what doesn't. So let's say we turn that on and the fan doesn't turn on, so then we can, you know, it, it's probably something not something like the actual fan motor itself and not some kind of temperature sensor because we're kind of bypassing everything and just turning the fan on using the uh, the system in the vehicle, the, the actual computer. So those are some of the things. Like in this particular case, I don't have a vehicle that has any kind of codes or anything. Uh, so this kind of gives you an idea of what you can do in here. Now here's where the reports are. And so here's a report here in which I recorded. And what it does is it records it and then it shows you the full playback here on the, on the graph. And so I got some of the information there and it kind of shows as I was driving what's going on. Uh, we can very easily go into updates here and it's a Wi-Fi system. So we can just hit that and it shows the updates and updates through the Wi-Fi once you connect. You have more here. So you can connect the endoscope here, and you can go into a full user manual, manual, which is, which is searchable, which is great. Uh, now, remote control. Uh, this like pulls up some kind of you know remote, literally some a remote operator to help you with the unit, which I don't want to do that. You can go into settings here, and you can change language, units, USB setting, what you're going to do with it. Uh, sound and display, and you have the about here, about the actual unit itself. And then you can go to the actual website if you need to. So if we pull that up. So you can see this has a, this has a, uh, a Android system here. So you can see it just works like a normal Android. You also have Google Chrome. And you can go on YouTube, watch videos, all kinds of stuff, whatever you need to do. Uh, there's the camera here. So we can take pictures if we need to. So get back out of that. We have a calculator. You know, all the normal stuff that you would have um, on a Android system. We can always go back to the Xtool app here. So yeah, I really like this system. I really like the fact that it's Wi-Fi. Uh, and you can update everything right here. And let's go ahead and update. And I also like the fact that it's wireless. And I like the fact that it's bi-directional. You can send commands and, and you can do some pretty advanced diagnos diagnosis depending on the... Um, Depending on the vehicle, so like the the Honda Accord that I'm I'm connecting to is very basic. It doesn't have a lot of the features that you can test on here. Um, but if you have a vehicle that's very feature rich, uh, you can actuate different things and you know roll up the windows up and down and uh, whatever you need to do to test. You can test lights, exterior lights. You can test some of the lights on the dash, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it really helps out have being able to have more control over your vehicle read any codes or find out if there's anything going on also see what the the temperatures pressures all that stuff's going on in the engine in real time while you're driving uh, so if you have any kind of issues you can kind of really you know check on it like a you're like a doctor with a stethoscope you know you can really uh, dig deep and find out a lot of information about the vehicle that you know other without a tool like this you're just basically guessing and and you don't want to guess with modern vehicles. You really want to know what you're doing, and you know need to know uh, what the actual numbers are and make an accurate diagnosis so you don't waste money on parts and labor and all that stuff. It's all about the accurate diagnosis, really, is the hard part. And then changing the parts is a lot easier sometimes than, well, usually, uh, than the actual diagnosis. But anyways, uh, I think this is a really good uh, device, and, you know, for the money, I mean, it can save you tons of money when you start thinking about how much it costs to take a vehicle to just get looked at at a regular mechanic shop or a dealer shop, dealership or whatever. This is a game changer if you know what you're doing. You have to kind of have to know what you're doing. Uh, but if you do or are willing to learn anyway, some things, just some basic stuff, uh, you can, you know, reset codes and all kinds of stuff on here. So, so yeah, definitely can pay for itself in just literally one uh 
you know, one time, really. So anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.